Tesla stock price prediction for this year. It has been a while since I do the technical chart. Let's take a look at this. A few indicators that indicate that Tesla stock is moving up with one of the indicators that I use is this indicator called QQE. And I'm using a short term framework to analyze. And you can see from here is a six months framework. And uh, this is long means that it's going upwards. The QQE uh, indicator is about 80% accuracy as I tested backwards. The next indicator that I used is this indicator called dynamic volume profile. And basically, when the stock chart is above the upper line of this black line, it means that there are chances that it will continue to go upwards. It's an uptrend signal. And this is the third indicator that I use. It's called squeeze momentum. And you can see that from here, the orange line becomes green, means that the squeeze has been released. And in other words, it's also pointing to an upward trend whereby Tesla stocks will continue to search upwards. Of course, just a reminder that Indicators are just indicators. They are not a 100% accurate confirmation. And of course, investing is all about increasing your probability. And of course, these indicators point that Tesla stock is going upwards. Well, if we zoom up a bit and look at the overall Tesla market trend, let me show you. When I draw a regression trend, you can see that it has been going downwards for many months. Does it mean that this upwards is a trend reversal? Well, I would think that it probably would just be another relief rally whereby it can, where it can surpass this blue line as the resistance and go over, probably reach about 900 before it comes down again. Another indicator I use over a period of one year is this ADX. As you can see from this line, this blue line is way below the 25 mark. Means that the market trend is pretty weak. And it, I mean, if this blue line is above 25, it means a strong market trend. That's why I say it's not really a trend reversal for this time around, but just a temporary relief rally. The question is, how long will this rally of Tesla stocks going to be? How long is it going to last? Let's take a look at this. We must always bear in mind that this year is the mid-year US election. And when that happens, I mean, based on the past history, you can see that in 2014, it's also a mid-year US election. And the stocks drops, begins to drop you know, usually around October or end of September period. And another chart, which is 2018, is also a mid-year US election. You can see also that this is around September and October period when it goes into a dive. So probably this relief rally could just last to a few months until September or October. But what's going to happen next? We must look at this microeconomics. And is there an indicator for that? Yes, I want to share with you this powerful micro indicator. And it's a leading indicator for your information. This powerful macro indicator that I'm referring to is this indicator called LEI, which is the Leading Economic Index. And this is an analytic system designed to signal peaks and drops in the business cycle. It is a predictive variable that anticipates the turning points in the business cycle by around seven months and the shaded areas denote recession periods or economic contractions. Well, I'm using the latest release every month. They release this report. And this is based on 21st July, 2022. And based on index in June, there is a continuous drop, a decrease by 0.8% in June, 2022. And it says over here that 
U.S. LEI declined for a fourth consecutive month, suggesting economic growth is likely to slow further in the near term as recession risks grow. And this chart is interesting. Let me dissect for you. This gray area is the recession area. It's, you can see over here. This blue line is the LUI, whereas the gray line is the Confident Economic Index. You can see that when the blue line goes below the Confidence Economic Index, oh, that's where you can see the recession as happening. Or if not, you can also see that this LUI, when there is a deep you know, you can foresee that because it's, in, it's a leading indicator, you can know that a recession is very near. Likewise, now we are seeing a dip. When it continues to drop further, then we'll know that recession is very near. Another chart you can see is that you can use this uh, year to year ch percentage change of the LEI versus the year-to-year -year percentage change in the real GDP. Uh, likewise, you can see the gray area is the recession. And what I can see over here is when this leading indicator, this LEI drops below minus five, that's when it is an official recession. And now we are heading towards the baseline at zero. Well, to sum up, I can see that in the short term, there will be relief rally, but it may not last. It's not like there's a reversal become a bullish market trend once again. But I believe that at the macro level, the whole stock market, not just Tesla itself, is heading towards a uh, downtrend. But that is the overall picture. In the short term, well, it's pretty normal to have a relief rally. So do make use of it while you still can. Appreciate for your thumbs up if you like this analysis, this video. If you agree, I do appreciate. If you have any comments or any questions, that's for me. And I will see you. Invest safe.